Okay, this one is about uh, some aftermarket start assists for compressors, air conditioning compressors. And the two I've got here, this is an old Super Boost, doesn't even have the label on it anymore, knocked around here forever. And this is a 521. Uh, both of these are aftermarket products, they're not original equipment. By the way, if you need a start kit on a, uh, an air conditioner, your best option, if you need one, is a factory start kit because they're always better. But these are here, and there's a good reason for having these things. These Super Boosts here, we used to use those a lot, uh, still do, on uh, compressors that were dying. Uh, these were a simple hookup, they're just two wires going to them. If you came upon a unit that the compressor, maybe it kicked the uh, breaker, blew the fuses, but it wasn't shorted or anything like that. And if you put one of these on there, it might start it. Now, of course, you need to, while you're doing it, before you put one of these things on, you want to make sure that the run cap works. Those are PSC motors. And if the run cap isn't working, it won't start. So you want to check that first. But let's say your run cap's okay, and, and you're going out there, and it's a 20-year-old unit, and it, it blows a fuse every once in a while. And you try it out, and sometimes it doesn't start. Okay. Uh, you can put one of these on it. And what it has inside is, I, I'll reference a video I did on these things a long time ago uh, about how they're put together. There's a thermistor in there, and this is a start cap. That's all that is. Uh, it's a 108 to 130 microfarad start cap. And it puts that in the circuit between start and run and gives an extra boost. And then the thermistor warms up so that in you know half a second or, low it shut, or so it just shuts off uh, to keep this out of the circuit. Because if you leave it in the circuit, it'll burn it up. So that's what that is. Very simple. This one's a little different. This one has the same kind of start cap on it. But it's got a 521 relay. Now that's a potential relay. These are commonly used on refrigeration and in some air conditioning systems. Uh, it works on back EMF, and there is a high resistance coil in this little relay. The relay is actually normally closed so that this will be in the circuit between start and run. And when the motor gets up to about 75%, of its maximum speed, the back EMF will open this relay and takes this thing out of the circuit. It's fairly simple. Uh, I'll also reference in the end of the video uh, something on potential relays and what back EMF really is. Anyway, there's both of these are out there. I hear a lot of guys saying, well, it's I, my, uh, my unit did not come with a start cap on it, and I think it would be better if it had a start cap. Well, a start cap is it's something that gives a, um, a hard push to the starter, to the motor, to get it started. The hard push is fine, except, you know, that hard push does, you know, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The windings of the motor are also pushed also. And if they're not very tightly bound in and uh, into the system like they should, this thing is laying around here, this is actually an ECM, but these windings here, Whenever you put a hard start on them, they jerk. And if they jerk enough times, they can wear through the insulation and short out. Uh, most motors are designed to accept that and without damage, but it isn't really good for the compressor. So I don't 
recommend putting one of these things on a system that's working normally. This was just for a worn out compressor. Let's say you have a customer, this thing won't start, it starts part of the time, the rest of the time it doesn't start, something like that, and you put one of these super boosts, so there's 521 on there, and uh, it starts and runs. And you say, okay, I have not fixed your problem. I have given you a little more time. May get through the season, may not get through tomorrow. But the compressor effectively is worn out at that point. And in order to get it started, it has to get kicked pretty hard. So you can do that as a short-term thing. Be sure and note it on the invoice that it's a temporary repair. And they'll come back and say, you didn't fix it right. Anyway, that uh, that's what you use those for. Now, I'm going to go down and hook both of these up to an operating air conditioner and I'll look at the inrush and see if I think there's any real difference. But there may be a difference, uh, whether good or bad. Anyway, let's go down and do that. Okay, here I've got my meter set up, set up for inrush, and I'm going to manually depress the contactor on this thing, and we'll see what the amp draw, the maximum amp draw is. Okay, 91.6, and I've done that several times, that comes out really close. Okay, you can see I've got the super boost hooked up right now, and we're going to go ahead and try this and see what happens when we try to start it. Okay, looks like uh, we're at about 93. Uh, pretty much the same amp draw. And if you listen, it appears to start at about the same speed. So let's try it with the 521. Okay, now we've got the 521 on there. And so let's see what the inrush is on it. Okay, and that one I've done several times also. It's 85. So you're actually reducing your draw, momentary draw, very short time, uh, by about, oh, 8 amps. So is there any benefit to the 521? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Uh, what it's doing, and so maybe you can understand a little better, when a compressor starts, the power comes into it like it's an electric heater, like there's no inductive reactants or anything. It just, it's just the resistance of the wiring. And so there's a large inrush. Well, as that inrush comes in, the compressor starts. And as soon as the compressor starts, it's going to start increasing its back EMF, which is going to get the compressor up to speed and reduce the amp draw. So, is there a little bit of difference? Yeah. With the 521, the uh, amperage draw it's probably for a little bit shorter time. That's about it. Would, uh, would I put that on my unit if it did not need a start uh, kit to run? Uh, no, it's, it's not enough of a difference to make any difference. So uh, that's pretty much it on those things. Uh, my opinion, has always been that they're really not something you should put on a new unit or a well operating unit. They're kind of a fix to keep them running. Uh, if you must put one on, then I would certainly put the 521 uh, because that keeps the unit at the higher amp draw a little bit shorter time. 
if there's enough comments in the uh, comment section that you want me to show you how to wire these things, I will do it. There's actually a diagram that comes with them that should be easy enough. But if I get a bunch of people that want to, uh, to know how these things are physically wired, how you get into the systems and wire them, I will go ahead and make one on that. And like I said earlier, there's a couple of videos at the end of this that kind of explain some of the other things like the thermistors and the like and the potential relay and what they're all about. Anyway, that's it on this one.